welcome back to another segment of Murphy's Thoughts with me, Murphy. So we're going to talk about something that people commonly say, and some probably shouldn't, and that is moving in silence. And no, not this type of silence. But in the silence, we're talking about they're not telling anything that they're doing. So, of course, we have two types. You got the real and you got the fake. And, of course, we're going to start with the fake. And I'm going to let my man here introduce it. Too many of y'all be like, I'm moving in silence. Shut the hell up. Move in silence. I can hear you. Because if this had a mascot, it would be half of y'all out there. Because most of y'all don't realize when y'all tag this, y'all really are insinuating this. And let me give you some examples on how. Because some of y'all will say this, then in the morning go post this, and then later on in the afternoon post this. Like, are, are you sure? Are you sure? You can't be moving in silence. I know exactly what you did today. Because then some of y'all have the audacity to post this. Midday. Like, come on now. You can't be. Another example. Posting this is an indication of what happened. I know you done worked your nine to five that you posted beforehand to earn the vehicle. That's a good job, but don't post this because now you're capping again. Another example. When you post this with this tag and this comment, I'm pretty sure I can judge what happened. I know exactly where you were. And I know where you're headed. You just told me. You can't be moving inside me if you're telling all your actions. You're loud. You're yelling. I can hear you. We all can hear you. How are you moving inside me but you're telling me every move? And that's just from an Instagram standpoint. Let me give you a Twitter example, right? How? How? I know exactly where you're going. And I know when you graduate, I'm going to be there supporting you. Yes. And you move into my favorite state. Twins, we probably gonna be neighbors. You telling your moves. And another example. This one's just like, uh, this generation. No, you don't. No, you don't. What'd you see say? He'd be like, cause spot him, got him. He got you. You told on yourself. He's above you now, waiting on you. I just talked. What you don't want to confuse is congratulating yourself. There's nothing wrong with congratulating yourself, you know, self-improvement. But you don't want to contradict yourself. And that's what people who say this tag and still tell what they do is doing. That's the same as like someone who preaches to take care of your body and maintain a good health and never goes to the doctor. Let's talk about the real, because there are those out there. These people a, don't need motivation, and they don't need verification from other people that they're doing it. They're going to do it because they know it's the right thing to do what's best for them. An example of someone who's not complaining about schoolwork, never posted they're studying, never posted with the partners. You don't know nothing about what's going on. But at the end of the semester, you see that they finally posted that they're on the dean's list. That means that they were grinding, figuring the stuff out, probably struggling a little bit, but they was able to get things done silently and then they showed you the end result now another funny one is a great example is when you see these pictures and you just like yo when you gonna do like huh you were single for like six years all of a sudden you a fiance that been in a relationship for three years moving in silent no one has to know because that gives you opportunity to really get things done on your time and that's just how it is